Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and I'm doing another uh, Star Wars and the Power of the Force figure set. Um, this is the Jawas. <clears throat> it actually says they have uh, glowing eyes, which is pretty cool. Um, of course, you get two Jawas in the set, and they each come with a uh, one comes with the uh, blaster pistol, and one comes with the blaster rifle. It's very cool. Got your uh, crazy little hologram picture over there. On the back, you have the file card. Just stuff about the Jawas and some of the other <clears throat> figures made back in this series. A couple of vehicles, very cool. And this was made by Kenner back in 1996. It's very awesome. So let's take a quick break, and we'll get these two guys out of the package. All right, and we're back with the Jawas. First off, we'll do a little. Uh, size comparison with them. Um, the taller one is at uh, the top of his hood's just right at three inches and the shorter one's right at uh, it's under two and a half inches. Um, I definitely like how they're like different sizes and stuff I think that's pretty cool. So it's just packaging like the same molded figure in together. Uh, they come with two weapons. Here is the uh, blaster pistol. And this little like blaster rifle. Got the cannon on the front or whatever. <clears throat> Very cool. And a look at the figures. Um, for being back in 1996, uh, they do have some nice detail. Um, from what it looks like, this whole line really had some nice detail even for back then. <clears throat> I'm definitely lacking some articulation, but uh, details there. You can see the eyes are pretty cool. They're really reflective. It said glowing eyes, I'm not too sure if they glow in the dark or not, but uh, they're almost like cat eyes, they're really reflective, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> Got some really cool like belts and stuff, and just the whole uh, cloth robe is uh, textured and really cool looking. No feet of course, just uh, little peg holes on the bottom. Articulation, uh, it looks like his head would rotate, but the hood is sculpted around him. Um, Shoulder goes up and down and up and down in the torso and a swivel, or in the crotch and a swivel at the waist and that's it for that guy. <clears throat> Should look at the smaller one. Very cool. Very nice detail. Uh, same articulation it looks like. Uh, except for he doesn't have a waist swivel. <clears throat> it's very cool. But you really don't need these guys really doing too many dynamic poses or anything so doesn't bother me too much. Um, I did want to compare, I, I got these set for the uh, newer, um, these are the Clone Wars Jawas, um, so they're meant to be more cartoonish, <clears throat> which this is the only ones I could find in the stores, was the uh, Clone Wars ones. And they're okay, but I'm really glad that I got these old 96 ones. I just think they look way better. You can see the comparison there. But uh, not too bad together, I mean, I, I guess they do look a little awkward being together, but I think it'll work good enough. It just kind of makes them look even more different. But, uh, anyways, uh, definitely glad I picked these up. Picked these up for, like, dirt cheap. I got these for, like, two bucks or something at a toy show. So, anyways, that was the Jawa pack. Thanks for checking them out.